Yes, we are happy to welcome you at DESA. Can you tell us what decided you to join this department? Through my career in development cooperation, I've developed a, a passion for inclusive development and for multilateralism. And I've had in the past the opportunity to work closely with the United Nations in different capacities. This was a, a very logical uh, position for which to apply and I'm of course very honored to have been selected. What are your first impressions during this first month after taking office? You know, anyone who is in contact with the Department of Economic and Social Affairs from outside will be impressed by the, by the competency and by the talents of its staff. But what I didn't realize uh, during the five years that I was working uh, in New York, but not within the Secretariat, what I didn't realize was the sheer volume of work, the sheer volume of documents, of, of uh, background notes, of talking points that have to be prepared by the department um, upon request of member states or by the senior management. What are you hoping to achieve during your mandate at DESA? The, the Millennium Development Goals, but also the the whole process coming out of the Earth Summit in 1992 or the, the Social Development Summit of Copenhagen in 1995, these were so important in maintaining a, a focus and a, and a strong level of attention of the international community on these different aspects of development. I believe that 2015 is our next big opportunity to place uh, development sustainable development, poverty eradication and all these important issues are on the center of the stage. And uh, I hope that uh, through my work as, uh, as coordinator, as, uh, as facilitator within the Department of Economic and Social Affairs, I'll be able to support this process and play a catalytic role in it. You are now Assistant Secretary General for Policy Coordination and Interagency Affairs. What does this mouthful title mean to you? It's true, it's a mouthful. Um, I think what it means is that I don't have the knowledge and that I will be dependent on many excellent people and organizations to work together with me to be able to achieve a, a coherent uh, contribution of the UN to this post-2015 agenda. There are 30 floors between the basement where you used to be and your actual office. What does this climbing 30 floors mean to you? Well, it's impressive. This building has improved a lot physically. But I think that I will, I will not lose touch with what is happening in the basement. You know, I've spent entire nights negotiating over sentences and issues that might seem trivial or irrelevant to people from outside but I realized how important sometimes these small sentences, these commas, these caveats are to bridge differences, important differences between member states and to bring them together to converge and to work together. So whether, whether serving in the field or at headquarters I'm actually served mostly in small countries and I believe that that has given me a sense of how important multilateralism is to, to even the, the global playing field for important issues. Do you have a problem solving strategy? I think that I'm not a person who just will move forward blindly for a certain objective which I have established for myself. I'm a person who, who seeks out different opinions, different positions and tries to, to do a rapid iteration of different scenarios until the best solution is found that can bring everybody on board. Are you a go-ahead or a follow-me person? I think I'm a come-with-me person. Thank you very much, Mr. Gas, for your time. Thank you.